Welcome back to How to Cake It. I'm Yolanda, and this week I made a land of sweets cake inspired by the upcoming Nutcracker and the Four Realms movie. Thanks to Disney for sponsoring and collaborating with us on this video. Disney's Nutcracker and the Four Realms will be in theaters November 2nd, and we have a prize pack for you guys, so keep watching to find out how you can win. To make this land of sweets cake, I have baked 18 pounds of my ultimate vanilla batter. That's a lot of cake, see I have to close my eyes as I said it. Did you see that? I was like, 18 pounds. The cakes are an ombre of pinks and purples. Cody learned what an ombre was this week. I learned what an ombre was from how to get the cake. Good. Okay, Once my cakes are baked, cooled, and chilled, I'm gonna level these cakes and remove the caramelization from the bottom. I haven't even seen the inside of the cake yet because today, right after this, I'm bringing it to a Disney event and cutting it there. Oh, that's so much fun. Yeah. I also need to remove the caramelization from the sides of these cakes. The ombre is so pretty. I want the ombre to shine through. I don't have time for caramelization in the way. I don't have time. There are two new cakes for you guys over on How to Cake It Step by Step. A brand new member, Kat, has joined the family and she's caked up a carnival-inspired cake. And Cassie is back with another adorable character cake. She's caked an elephant taking a bath. I wish I was taking a bubble bath right now. I really do, actually. But I would tie my straight hair up and protect it. Humidity in this. Would you cover the bubbles? Would it be an ombre? An ombre bath? Yeah. We should invent that. It's probably yeah. already invented that. There's yeah. ombre everything. Now it's time for Sir Squeeze to help me shower this ombre of cakes with simple syrup. Even he said they were pretty. Yeah, Sir Squeeze likes pink. Um, he d well, he's wearing pink, right? That's true. And he has a pink girlfriend. He <laughs> Once my simple syrup has soaked into my cake layers, it's time to fill and stack these cakes with Italian meringue buttercream. I always love the look of pure white buttercream between an ombre. My cake tiers are eight inches wide, six inches wide, and four inches wide. And the eight inch cake is gonna be a double barrel cake. What that means is it's essentially the height of two cakes. So I need to make sure to put a board inside. Darker purple, darker pink. Medium purple, medium pink. Lighter purple, lighter pink. You know what it's time for, don't you? It's time to crumb coat and chill. By the way guys, if you want to see my cakes before everyone else, plus some behind the scenes footage, head to howtocakeit.com and sign up to be a VIP. Now that my crumb coat is chilled, it is time to ice these cakes again. But first I need to assemble the eight inch cake and make it one cake. To assemble this cake, I need to place dowels in a circular formation into the bottom cake and then carefully lift the top eight inch cake and line it up on top. Now I can ice all of my cakes and put them in the fridge to chill again. This structure is um, awfully similar to the wedding cake I made a couple of weeks ago. Orhan made a wedding cake for his friend's wedding and he made a wedding cake. Can you put it in the video? <laughs> like just the cake, beautiful. Now that, it, Orhan gets like 10 points from me, like 20 <laughs> points from me. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> when icing a double barrel, especially, it's really helpful to use a bench scraper. I have tall spatulas, but you can still, you know, without realizing it, angle a spatula, and I don't have time for that. I want straight sides. And as I've mentioned before, if you're having trouble icing your cakes nice and straight, don't sweat it, put them in the fridge to chill and go back and ice them again. We need to make sure our cakes are well chilled before we cover them in fondant. I'm covering all three of my tiers with white fondant. Make sure to measure your cakes so that you roll your fondant large enough to cover them. Once you've rolled your fondant out to a large enough size, you can pick it up with a French rolling pin very carefully drape it over your cake, and the first thing you want to do is attack those top corners, especially on a double barrel cake, because the weight of the fondant pulls and you'll get tearing at the top. Once you're happy, trim away the excess fondant from the bottom of your cake, and do this twice more. Disney's Nutcracker and the Four Realms will be in theaters November 2nd, and we are giving away five awesome prize packs. To enter this giveaway, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and leave a comment below letting me know which realm you would want to be a part of. Here's what I think. Orhan would go to the spooky fourth realm. Yeah. 
I would go to the Land of Sweets, obviously. I feel like Cody would choose the Land of Snowflakes because of his winter camping, right? And Jocelyn would be in the Land of Flowers, like skipping around looking for a unicorn. Uh, we can't be together. <laughs> I'm not going to your spooky realm. Why not? <laughs> because. I'm sure the best parts of the movie are gonna be in the spooky realm. We'll have to wait and see. All right. In November too. Really. <laughs> <laughs> November 2nd. November 2nd. To the movies. the movies. Perfect. Oh, look! Yolanda's done covering the cakes in fondant. She did a good job. It is now time to stack the three cakes on top of one another before I start painting. I begin by placing my eight inch double barrel tier onto a clear plexiglass cake board and make sure to glue it down with some royal icing. And this is because there's a board under the cake. And so when the board sits on the plexiglass, it'll just slip around and you don't want that. Once that's in place, I can measure the top of the eight inch tier, mark a circle formation, cut all my dowels to the right size and insert them. Now I spread on a little more royal icing, carefully place my six inch tier on top. Now I measure the top surface of my six inch round tier. Once again, mark a circle formation for dowels, cut them all to the same size, insert them, and now I can spread on a little bit of royal icing and add that final fourth tier. This cake is very tall. How are you gonna take me to do that? Please don't remind me, I still have to do that. In fact, because I have to transport this cake, I'm going to insert one long dowel through the entire cake because I'm scared. This is the one thing I don't miss about being a cake decorator. Because when I was a cake decorator and I had clients, every weekend was me and Mr. Cake putting cakes in cars and driving around the city. It's like somebody asking you to put your baby in a car without a car seat. Just let it roll around. Like it's terrifying. <laughs> and as for the hole that we've left in the top, we're gonna patch that with royal icing. The reason I cover these cakes white is because I am painting them in an ombre. I mix a selection of paints in different shades of purple and pink and I add white to all of the colors because I need the colors to be opaque and the white helps to soften the colors. Food coloring is naturally really concentrated and really bright. I'm not going for like a highlighted cake. I'm gonna start at the bottom with the darkest color which is a sort of deep purple and I'm just gonna use a brush and paint it on. I'm not looking for perfect straight lines. I just kind of want it all to flow up. So I start painting all the way around the cake with this purple color. Once that's done, I soak my beauty blender in some water, squeeze it out, and then I use this to sort of sponge on the paint. It just sort of blends it like a beauty blender. It adds texture, it softens it. I really like what it's doing. When I'm happy with that color, I start making my way up and the next color is a lighter purple. I paint it on in the same way, use another beauty blender and sort of dab the paint all the way around. And once I'm happy, I move on to pink. So the pink is now at the top of the biggest cake and going up to the next tier. But same idea, I paint it on, beauty blender, start sponging, then I move on to a lighter pink same technique and right at the top I wanted it to be its lightest so I took sort of my leftover lightest pink and added more white and a little more clear food grade alcohol painted that on top blend. Now that I've made it all the way up to the top the bottom is sort of already starting to dry and I want to add more texture so once again I'm going to dip my brushes into my paint if they've dried up all you have to do is add more clear food grade alcohol to dilute them and I go around the cake brushing on more paint. I'm just trying to build different textures of paint on the cake. Now I need to let the cake dry completely. So I put it in the fridge and I wait. I did something new in this video. Orhan, I did something new in this video. I got a spray bottle and I filled it with food grade alcohol. And now that my cake was dry, I put it on a Lazy Susan and I sprayed it with alcohol. Basically it was like a mist that hit the cake and sort of reactivates the paint. While my cake is drying, I sorted all of my candy. I basically got any candy I could find that fit my color story. So the first thing I do is add a pearl, like I have these pink 
curly malt balls and I add them as a border around the second tier of cake. And it kind of looks like, it's so pretty, it's like a necklace. It's so pretty. And I glue all of these candies on with a bit of royal icing. The next thing I do is add more curl borders at the bottom tier of the cake, on the bottom tier of the cake, with purple and blue shimmery chocolate balls. Well, they're candy-coated chocolate balls. And I glue these on. I just have royal icing in a little piping bag, a parchment piping bag, Jocelyn's favorite. And I add a little dab of royal icing and add the pearls all the way around. It reminds me of like bubbles. Oh, I see. Yeah, exactly. On the side of this tier, I'm also gonna add some of these sugar diamonds that I have. Just again, gluing them on with royal icing here and there being very random. At the bottom of the top tier, I found these new kind of sprinkles. They're kind of, they're called sprinkles, but they look like, they look like rock candy, but more opaque. And they were just the right pink. So I'm adding them down around the bottom of the top cake and it's it's like crystals. It's it's really, really pretty and like fairy tale like. And at the top of that tier, the very top of the tier, I'm adding clear rock candy. So I've cut it off a stick and I'm just adding it. It's it's very I don't know how to describe this cake. But they're seeing it. Oh you're right. Footage. <laughs> yes. I also added pearls in that to the second tier. Yeah. You, you remember all of this, so you just want to keep looking at your cake. No. Yes. No, I want to make sure I get it right. Our new holiday ebook is filled with recipes for sweet treats inspired by Disney's Nutcracker in the Four Realms. And we are giving this ebook away for free to anyone who goes to see Disney's Nutcracker and the Four Realms movie. It's the fifth realm. The ebook. The ebook is the fifth realm. That's, That's right. True. You're welcome, Disney. It's a little something we did for you. You're welcome. All you need to do is take a picture of your movie ticket and post it on Instagram with the hashtag Bake the Realms. You're gonna love this year's ebook and the movie. I have these great swirly lollipops that I wanna add to this cake. So I decide to paint on some pearl luster dust and then I add them, so on the second tier on top, and I added them at, like, so one was up and one was down. And one, kinda like a merry-go-round. <laughs> And after I did that, I actually decided that the lollipops needed something more. So I removed them and I glued ribbon bows, like tied little bows. Yeah, I dress up my lollipops. Now I need to address the top of the cake. And for this, I have some candy, like twirly candy sticks in blue and white and pink and white, as well as some larger purple swirly lollipops. And I just basically start adding everything, just until it looks nice. I'm gonna bring this cake downtown and cut it. Orhan, put the footage in, okay. and I'll see you next week. Okay.